what's up everyone and yeah welcome back to Tales of Arise we are indeed in the trenches in the deep underground of the sleeve leopard infested quarry that is being searched thoroughly by Lord Dokalim myself and my party by myself I mean Alfin I would never do such heroism in real life but yeah that's what games are for especially JRPGs so we will see what's the big secret behind the trenches or what hides behind this place probably a boss fight who knows but yeah welcome back and yeah looks like we've arrived looks this like is it the way to the medical facility right medical facility quote unquote you'll see let's keep going oh come on bro you'll see He is more of a show first, then talk guy. Okay. Let's get this. I'm ready for anything. Hope for the best, expect the worst. So there really is an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, <laughs> it never even existed in the first place. Guess so. But I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Oh. That's what's gonna happen to him as well. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? No way. It it can't be. So then this entire lake is full of corpses. Yes. All this is the hollowing wow man i still don't follow go is it obvious god damn it what happened to your hand and what is this hollowing you speak of can't you this see is what i wanted to show you my lord when a life forms drained of its astral energy its physical form breaks down completely a death leaving no physical remains Wow. All that's left is a reflective substance. The only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This is insane, man. Wow. This whole lake. How many people? How many Danans? Fuck. <laughs> You actually expect me to believe all that? Fuck that you! Art illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity, and that I, a Renan lord, would have no knowledge. You're naive, man. I have one last piece of evidence, Lord Doalim. Dope food. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. Why? What are you doing, Miguel? <coughs> no way, he's going to sacrifice himself. Your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless Dan and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Miguel! 
someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisar. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. Wow. Bro. This is insane. I'm having chills. Have much time left anyway. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, sure. Please help our Lord Dohalim to make our greatest dream a reality. Wow. I don't know what to say. Wow. He's attacking us. Shit. Was not expecting this. He went berserk. Does he take damage at all? Whoa. Renwo is dead. Somebody wake her up. Thank you. What are you wrong with him, bro? He went berserk. This is insane. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't expect this game to go this dark. Uh, I have to be honest. Take that, bitch. Shit, oh my god, he's not playing. What is going on? Ouch. It's not good, is it? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, 
step aside. Now, Kisara. Wow. You felt that, didn't you? What are I wrong with him, bro? Attack. The charge attacks. Run. Now. This this is insane, and I'm loving it. This is the best boss battle so far. <laughs> or I'm just saying this because of the moment, I don't know. It's amazing. Yeah, you know what to do here. Not much now, guys. Come on, we can do this. That's it. Fuck it. Somebody? Heal me? Okay, I guess I'm on my own now. <laughs> no, now it's getting bad. Shion. Shion must be alive. Shit. I know you can't. Oh man, I suck. Be careful, okay. Now! I don't have any life bottles left. I'm fucked. I'm dead. Bro. Shion, it's all in your hands now. Okay. This is it. This is the end of the line, my friend. Hate to break it to you. I really do. But this is it. No, no. Spam all you like. Spam all you like. <laughs> it won't make a difference. You're fucked. You're fucked. You done? Now? Done? Thank you. Over an hour and a half. Finally! That was the hardest boss in the game, indeed. Was it the best? Maybe. But damn it, was it Ice? tough. What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Nigal trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. I think you proved otherwise. Truth be told, I never wanted this. 
I never wanted to be a lord. I honestly see that right now. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me. And in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well, then that was just an added benefit. I see. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But... Living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. I see. It all makes sense now. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for? You're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dohalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it, my man. So this... This is who you really are? Stop! Let go! Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Damn, man. You must kill me. I'm nothing. You will be nothing if, you, if you're dead. I'm a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? Oh my god. <laughs> I need you to get out of my sight right now. Go before I change my mind. Man, I didn't expect this game to go that deep at all. My god. This was insane. Are you feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Thanks. Man. What are we gonna do now? Uh, not sure. I still have unfinished business with Dohalim. Oh, sure. He's a world away from the Lord Balsef was. There's no need for us to fight him, Shion. In case you've forgotten, I Guys, don't... guys! I think something's going on outside. To be honest, the Dokalim's regime was much... Kizara, there you are. Much, much better than any... What's happening? ...any Lord I've seen. ...an insurrection. He's driving all of the Danans out of the palace. 
What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought... We thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Well, either way, I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. Renan sympathizers? What is going? I guess not all of the Renans uh, here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. So uh, this is it. This is the real Menensia. After all, are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renan sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? Sure not. <laughs> okay, grab the bracelet and kick some ass. I'll go help you. You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. <sighs> we'll be taking it along then. <gasps> What are you all doing? I thought it was pretty clear. Hmm. We're coming with you. I appreciate the thought, really. But there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Thank you. No need. Will things be okay in the city? I'm concerned about that as well. But for now, let us get to the palace. Right. It's best. I can't save the game. Shit. Down on things at the source before they get out of control. The fact the enemy's holding themselves up. Okay. Tells me they're not exactly happy to see us. Then we'd better go in prepared for whatever welcome we'd get. I thought we'd see fighting throughout the city, but it's dead quiet. Either Dohalim's allies have been arrested, or they're keeping a low profile. Meaning the rebels are occupying the palace? Then let's hurry up and kick those bastards out. And I forgot my life bottle. Don't tell me that's a dungeon. If it is, well, that's not good. <laughs> this place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. Such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danon guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their post lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? We, we didn't. T we did tell him How to fuck off. Can you idea where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's chamber. Worth a shot. I will. But I have to take a break for now, guys. Yep. I have to take a break. Sorry. It's late. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I have shit to do. And yeah. I'm gonna film 
I'm gonna continue this episode soon, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. I wish I could film more, but you know, Judy calls and depression is <laughs> always at the corner, and reality comes with it too. But that's what games are for—to escape from that reality. I will see you very soon, and I'll come. I'm, and I'm gonna continue this episode. Peace. Okay, we're back. I've taken my break or whatever I need. Hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to the Lord's Chamber. I okay, we're back. I've taken my break or whatever I need. Hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to the Lord's Chamber. I presume it's here, maybe? Library? I don't know. I don't know. It's locked. Oh, not here, obviously. That narrows it down, I guess. The Lord's Chamber. Let's see where that is. What the... That kills the lake. Did he really manage to deploy those barriers inside the palace? Guess that means we're on the right track to finding him. Is there any way we can get rid of these? If memory serves, there's a release mechanism somewhere. My first guess would be inside his personal office. Oh. Oh, it's one of these dungeons. Hey, Law, you can bust that wall open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find Lord's Quarters. Interesting. Noble room. That's gonna be a a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> Not here. Not here. Not here either. Oh. Well, you sure about that? From what I We'll just have to look then. Here, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought. Let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Yeah, I'm not actually in a mood for fighting. That's no ordinary enemy I see over there. You know, the more I think about it, this palace is way too big for it. I'm sorry, I've, I've been busy. Tell me, tell me about it. Not here. Plus, where the hell were these soldiers and zoogles all this time? No. Normally, the zoogles are kept in. Sorry for in interrupting, but um. Specialized training facilities, and only get let out in cases of emergency. I'm sorry, but I'm opening room and room to room to room. Well, enraging. What am I supposed to do? Oh wait, what what's that? Oh, ha ha ha! Did I they see. finally get rid of the wall? Hopefully. They would hide it in Lord. Hopefully. <laughs> personal quarters. Outrageous. The nerve of these people—they won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's chamber. Let's go. Let's go. He's moving his lips, but there's no voice. Well, well. If oh, no. The slaves and the traitor. I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. I don't remember. I don't remember giving a shit. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Sure. Yeah, a despicable excuse for a human being. The really to put it I guess lightly. that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor, his closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool! I didn't serve him because I wanted to! 
I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. Wow. Do you want suffering? Try being Dan in for a day. Sure. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! Piece of shit. A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! He's the most hateable Who villain. Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Migul. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! I expected nothing less. I my brother's dead because No life bottles, so this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna die. Why should I concern myself with the passing of one pathetic slave? Have you no thing? More with that, be careful! Where's the plate of Panaphon? You picked the wrong fight! Hopefully that's easier than the last boss fight. Where do you go? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Boom. Sure it is. Whipping his ass, come on. Now. Not bad, half hair went down. Boom. Shit. I had to I had to do that. Now it's not playing though, just saying. Now Time to let it rip. 
This guy's going crazy. This is it, come on. Boom, okay. I have to heal myself first. Come on. Guys, we can do this, come on. Ow. Stay away from my friend. Here I come. Try this. Now bad, huh? Now bad, huh? Demon Fang. Try this. I'm never going to do it. Take this. You're No. Shion and Rim all dead. That's not good. Don't worry, we can do it with law. Just me and my law, huh? Come on, law! Come on, law! I'll stop your movement, and I'll stop your life. Whew! That was tough, wasn't it? You filthy slaves are despicable. Right back at you. Right back at you. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... He's back! The truth is revealed. Doholi, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalek, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? They can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point... The contest for the crown will be over soon enough, and you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act, as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. <laughs> Go. To Mahak Sar, Ganeth Haros, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. <laughs> Well, are you all right with this? He, he's not a friend he anymore. Your brother, after all, he did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> So after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What's what going on? That? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? 
<laughs> wow, all at once, like that? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You know you decided on your path. But that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. Hmm. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. She left the party. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Could say that. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. Yeah. You befriended Dohalim. You saw left your party. Hmm. The holy spark. Uh huh. He's What's a strong Kisara one. Going to do now? Well, we'll see. I'm sure, it's complicated for her. I'm just gonna. You know, it's facing south southern gates. Oh, I see. Ah, shit. Okay. We've reached our destination. You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? Yeah. In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. Uh, I really like that place, actually. All the men's here. Like the beauty of it. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danans and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? 
Well, this realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down. Without any help from us. Well, a little help, perhaps. <laughs> I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Xian's Sh awfully looking, huh? <sighs> Alright. I leave command of the gold dust cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. <laughs> Looks like it's time to go. Uh, it is. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? She's coming too. You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Man, I feel bad for Kisara. The whole thing with her brother and shit. It sucks. Well, we do have ourselves an awesome party, if I say so myself. Two reddens, huh? Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Of course I can. <gasps> come aboard. Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. <laughs> we just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. What difference would it make? It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives. But we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia. And so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant. And because of that, because of me, my brother, Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right. But in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free. Or gained without sacrifice. Hmm. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elder Men and Sia from outside the dream world. For the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. Even though I did try to kill you. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All good, good I enough. ask is that you do your part. That you fight alongside me. Not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do. Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Oh well. well? This crew <laughs> just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? <laughs> we make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. Mahag Sar. Okay, that's, that's an interesting enough name. Well, you're preventing Kisara again. <laughs> I could use that, can't I? What's that? Oh, Renoir well, can use some. Yeah, you can use something. Hmm. 
The law can do something too. Oh shit, local team has a lot. Great. Damn, that's good. Good shit, all around. Okay. Go to my Hogsar. Can finally open that gate. I think Hoodle senses something. Well, I can only look forward. And we can only look forward, guys, in the next episode of Tales of Arise. This game has been nothing short of um, amazing. It rekindled my love for JRPGs and for animated style games as well, actually, yeah. Uh, will I play the other uh, Tales of games on this channel? I most definitely plan to. So if nothing goes wrong, you may see more Tales on this channel. And if you're a Tales fan, then hop aboard and have fun with me, a rookie, a newcomer. That uh, has been neglecting the series for a while now. And I'm starting to regret that. By playing Tales of Arise. But, and I'm rambling, I have to go to bed. So, thanks for watching guys. It's been an, an awesome episode of this awesome game. Watched by an awesome audience. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And I will see you. In the next one. When, where we will be going to. Mahog Sar. The valley. Of the four winds. Or at least that's the plan. Okay guys take it easy. See ya.